Hey everybody, I am so excited as always to be here before you all. I thank God um, for, for using me as a willing vessel, just able and available to do his work, um, to encourage, to inspire, to tell my own testimony, to be transparent about the way um, of the Lord, to, to just share my experience because experience is is a lot we can read all day long we can do all of that but when you have relationship with christ and you have had encounters with christ personal encounters um can't nothing shake that can't nothing shake that and y'all already know like we are in some crazy times right now and honestly i feel like everything that can be shaken right now that's even the word is being shaken like everything that could be shaken right now is definitely being shaken so you have to you have to stand you have to stand on the word of god like y'all it's so much going on and you have to stand on the word of god you have to um even when you get weak and get weary you have to think of the things that he has done in the past the things that he has brought you through in the past the ways that he has made in the past the way that he continued to keep you when you did not deserve to be kept the way that he um give you peace of mind you have to think back on those personal encounters that you have had with christ you know it was nothing but the blood of jesus it was nothing but the love of jesus that kept you and so um i love y'all <laughs> i know i always say that but listen when you have a pure heart pure intentions man it's just like you don't know nothing else to do but love people you love people that use you abused you um that wronged you and know that they wronged you you just, you love them anyhow you still love them you show them the love of christ because a lot of times people will use and abuse and manipulate you and um, all of that stuff for their own benefit because they honestly don't know any better like some people are raised on survival and some people are raised on love and so I know I come from a loving home two loving parents they were both entrepreneurs but they um you know they they were grinding they were getting to it but they loved us you know um they loved us my dad always told us about the Lord and he loved us the way that Christ loved us like and showed us that God that godly love and so um it's just in me i it was just it's just the way that i was brought up and so when i be out here and be like i love y'all I, I mean that like i mean that i'm so genuine and um and love just flows through me and i thank god because we are in crazy times and people say crazy things but i just love them anyhow and and keep going you never know what people are going through you never know what they're dealing with and this Wednesday, I'm just kind of rambling on, um, but I'm here. I'm here before y'all, and God is good. God is amazing. God is awesome. Listen, y'all, we are in some crazy times, so we have to repent. If you do not know Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior, you have to just call on him. So, Father God, forgive me for anything that I have done said thought even imagined that was unpleasing to you lord i accept you as my savior um you know and and ask him to forgive you forgive me lord for everything that i have done i accept jesus christ as my lord and savior forgive me i repent i am free i am whole i am healed decree those things declare those things out of your mouth move forward but get into um get into your personal relationship with christ and um hi beautiful hi. get into your um get into your secret place with christ call on the name of jesus i'm telling you when you are operating in communion communicating with the love of the lord my baby came in here and threw me all the way off um it's nothing like it it is nothing like the love of christ you could smile um you can smile from a genuine place you can love people from a genuine place you just you know it's just it's just awesome it's amazing and and you don't have no worries and even when you get weary the bible tells us don't get weary and well doing and so we continue to push forward but if you keep your mind on christ he will certainly keep you at perfect peace and so there was no structure today hey baby that's my other baby 
him had an accident yesterday lord jesus he fell off the treadmill no don't come in the camera i don't want you showing your face because you was you are really buckled up baby um but yeah the enemy is busy and and i know he mad because he he never thought that i would get this far in life and so um my children has to deal with attacks as well but god is still good and through it all god has equipped me through it all what god has strengthened me he has already given me the power and authority to tread over surfaces scorpions it's okay no devil take my children can't no devil do nothing up in here i don't care what it look like he he comes you know he, he comes with his plots and his plans and his agendas, but the Lord, but the word of God tells me that it won't prosper. It won't prosper. So it, the weapons are definitely formed, especially when you are um, moving and what God has told you to do. The, the weapons are going to be formed, but they will not prosper in the name of Jesus. So we already know the devil is defeated. The devil is a liar and he has no power. The only thing he can do is what God allow him to do. And so we already know. We already know. We ain't, we ain't even got to touch on that. But I love y'all for real. Um, if you have not already done so, go ahead, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, hit that bell so you'll be notified of every video I make. Um, I do my weekly videos on Wednesday. I'm going to put a little twist on it, hit y'all with some other videos just to keep you inspired and encouraged. Most of all, to um, share my personal experience with Christ. And this is a journey. You know, we, nobody's perfect. So I'm just taking you along my journey and, and showing you how God is moving in my life as I obey him, right? Because we can hear the word all the time, but he said, be a doer of the word. And so it's okay to hear the word, but if you're not applying it to your life and obeying what God has told you to do, then you might as well not hear it no way, right? So be obedient, be obedient, be obedient, be, be sensitive to the word of God, be sensitive to when God speaks concerning your life. It may look crazy, it may feel uncomfortable, but he know what he got, what he got for you. He knows what he needs you to do. And so we have to say, not my will, Jesus, but your will be done. And we keep on moving forward. I love y'all. Continue to have an amazing week. And I will see you next week. Goodbye.